well, Jackie Extreme. This does look extreme already. <laughs> if I if I was um scenario, I'm your teacher and I've called your parents in for a parent teacher conference. Miss Mr. and Mrs. Extreme. Do you know what Jackie is drawing on her notebooks at school during my class? I, I, I saved this drawing, or Mr. and Mrs. Extreme. You're going to want to sit down for this. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Extreme, this is very serious. Uh, Jackie Extreme drew a picture uh, with a, a knife slitting my throat and blood coming out in every direction. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Extreme, have, have she, has she been exhibiting this kind of behavior at home? Uh, just, I'm just curious. Um, all right, so Jackie Extreme has submitted the track The Blue, uh, genre electro dance slash experimental pop. Uh, let's, <laughs> let's give it a listen. I'm excited. Let's go. Let's get extreme. Ba bam. He fell in the white. Over on your screen. You said earlier, Steve, undefeated. The blue. That there's nothing left to do. <laughs> Jackie Extreme coming through on the back end with a banger. Thank you, Jackie. 
Um, you know, I felt uh, vocally at some points like some Dorian vibes, like very much a hyper pop vibe, but simultaneously, um, it was like a Crystal Castles, kind of like an ominous, uh, very dark, darkly saturated, I guess, uh, you know, dance music cut that, you know, sort of goes back, back, back into the Crystal Castles uh, discography. You know, look, as, as much as like the hyper pop aesthetics of this were um, kind of a uh, kind of obvious, uh, you don't hear a lot of artists in the genre kind of fusing it with electro, you know, or fuse it like as as influenced by dance music and dance pop as a lot of that stuff does, uh, as a lot of that stuff is, you don't hear a lot of the producers in that lane just like making straight dance music. Um with, you know, some exceptions if you want to kind of link it back to PC music. You know what I mean? But that's kind of like the origin a lot of the, of, you know, the hyper pop. That's almost like proto hyper pop in a lot of respects. Uh, the arts that kind of came afterwards and have been, you know, almost like following that Dorian and Gex wave aren't necessarily making like straight dance music uh, a lot of the time. And um, I actually think it's kind of cool throwing it back to that, kind of bringing that, uh, that genre and that influence into it. Um, man, the beats banged. Uh, there were a few portions on the front end where I thought the vocal work could maybe use a little cleaning up. It felt a little awkward, but I still liked the vibe. You know, I still liked how um, almost like uh, enveloping and slightly washy it was. You know, it just felt uh, uh, like something I can get lost in. And then once the beat started to go, damn, like there was a pace, there was a rhythm, there was a groove to it that I just did not want to stop. Um, and the drum hits were just like so dirty and so nasty but just so groovy and I just couldn't say no. Um, very good on Jackie extreme. I like kind of the gender bent quality to the whole thing as well, especially on the vocal end too. Um, good on Jackie extreme. 